hi guys welcome to this channel in this video i want to show you five korean national holiday are you ready three two one so this is a cake and fly submission for the month of june and i'm choosing celebrating five korean national holiday so you're welcome to my channel and let's jump right into the video welcome to my channel this is a korean channel it's a new channel so guys my channel is named nigerian korean lover it's a channel born out of the interest of the korean cultural art okay i'm also interested in collaborating you know if you love korean culture or if you want me to like review korean products you can email me and you can send me a dm so i hope that you subscribe to my channel i hope that you join me in this ride as i make videos so festivals and um, holidays are very important in south korea and in this video i'm sharing the five most important festival so in this video i want to explore the vibrant tapestry of korean culture by shedding light on five significant holidays known for their rich history and deep-rooted culture okay so korean is known to have a rich history in deep-rooted tradition that celebrates a festival of festive occasions throughout the world and um, this holiday gives us a glimpse into the value, the custom, and belief of Korean people. So join me while I explore five Korean culture. The first is Suela, which is the Lunar New Year. It marks the beginning of the New Year calendar and is one of the most important and widely celebrated holiday in Korea. Families come together during this period to celebrate. And uh, in, in this solar new year, it features cultural activities such as playing games like Yunori and Jagi Jagi. It shows deep reference to Koreans and their heritage and the importance of family bond, which cannot be overlooked. In, um, in Suela, there is also something that cannot be overlooked. Um, which is the tradition. So the second on our list is Chusok. Chusok. Chusok is a popular Korean Thanksgiving festival and celebration. It's a time to express gratitude for the bountiful harvest and it is considered as the Korean equivalent of Thanksgiving, guys. And we can see in the pictures that family come together to pay homage to their ancestors and visit ancestors' grave, offering food and performing um, ancestral rites. A uh, central aspect of Chusok is the Songyomi ritual, which family dress in traditional attire, which is the Anbok and visit grave sites. Then also in Chusok, we have the popular dance, which is the Jangzuli dance, performed by a circle of women under the full moon to showcase the festival of the holiday or the spirit of the holiday. Another tradition that cannot be overlooked is um, National Foundation Day. It's a festival or a tradition that is celebrated to commemorate the legendary founding of the first Korean state of Gojosin over 4,000 years ago. The holiday highlights the country's sovereignty, independence, and the pride of Korean people owed to their history. Um, during this ceremonial event, it takes place at different historical sites in Korea, including the National Museum of Korea and the Guangdongri Square. The day encourage reflection of the Korean national identity and achievement of the people. The fourth Korean celebration is the Liberation Day celebration. It is celebrated on August 15 to commemorate Korea's liberation from Japanese colonial rule in 1945. This holiday signifies and symbolizes the end of colonial rule in Korea. Um, the festivals include the parading of flags, flag hosting ceremony, cultural performances. Uh, it sounds as a reminder of the sacrifice made by the Korean people for freedom and for determination to preserve their culture. The fifth festival we're going to look at, national holiday we're going to look at, is the Angu Day. So the Angu Day takes place across different parts of the country. It includes an exhibition, calligraphy contest, um, cultural performances. It signifies, the Angu Day signifies the place of literacy in Korea. Um, and it is observed in October 9th to honor the creation of the Korean alphabet Angle, which was the writing system that developed during the 15th century by King Seljon the Great. It has played a vital role in preserving and advancing Korean language and culture. So in this video, we have looked at five national holidays showcasing the different survivors, profound cultural heritage of the Korean people. We have looked at in the rich cultural practices. So thank you for watching this video. Do remember to like, to share, to subscribe, to the notification button. I'll see you amazing people in my next video. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on.